For someone who doesn't have any background in programming, what line would you would you recommend? You know, you know I'm going to create a programming class. I, I've broken down. I said I'm going to do it. I did a security lecture. I'm in the middle of redoing the security lecture. I love teaching, and what I'm going to do is probably create a really rigorous programming class where I start with the nature of computation. What is computation? What is a computer? And there's different ways of thinking about it, from automata to complexity to you know, to concepts like uh, you know state machines and so forth. Uh, and so there's like a real rigorous mathematical way of doing it. And I'm going to try to make that accessible and explain the history of where computers came from from a mathematician's perspective. So you have Turing machines and recursive functions and lambda calculus. That was all in the 1930s and so forth. Uh, and then say, okay, now that we kind of understand what a computer is, and there's a whole field of what can a computer do and what it can't do, then let's talk about languages and grammars, and then let's really dig into, okay, what is actually happening when you program? Okay, we'll talk about languages and the manipulation of data. Very SCIP way of doing some you know, structure interpretation computer programs. Okay, so then once we have those foundations, what I'm probably going to do is build a pedagogy around JavaScript. Surprising language to choose, but the reality is JavaScript is probably the lingua franca of the web, and it will never go wrong to learn JavaScript. Because at this day and age, there you whatever your opinion is on how to program, you can do that with JavaScript. There are logic-based ways, declarative ways, imperative ways, functional ways to use JavaScript well. And you say, oh, but what? I don't like to type. TypeScript, then. It's a, it's a flavor. It's a dialect. Okay, I, I, I really like Haskell. We then go to PureScript. Okay, but it's the door opener, and it's how everything's wired together. It's how everything talks, and you can do everything with it. And the goal would be to go from JavaScript and really learn, basically, how that works, to the next step, which is do some projects with it. And I think a web scraper uh, would be a really good project to do. Because uh, it teaches you a lot about how to interface with the browser and the web, and you know how to store stuff in a database and clean data and so forth, and that'd be really cool. It'd be nice to do some form of an AI project with it, and there's a lot of really nifty, neat tools there, and uh, maybe do something with algorithmically generated music. So I think three projects, the capstone, uh, kind of do what Uterpy did with Haskell, but in the JavaScript world. Do something with the web scraper, and you know, do something in AI. It'd be really cool to do all three. Um, and I think all that together would be a really nifty programming class. And it would be nifty to also at the same time talk about test-driven development, and include on at the exact same time that you're learning the concept how to use a test-driven development framework like a Selenium or something like that. So as you're writing the code, you're writing the tests at the same time. So you're learning good ideas, introduce algorithms and data structures at the same time. So you actually have some good foundations to wrap your hands around, and then also learn how to use a version control system, okay, like Git, and put all that together. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to do. So it'll probably take me a long time. Donald Knuth has been writing his books for 50 years, but I think if you get through all of that, it'll leave you with a really beautiful appreciation for what are computers, and how do they work. And uh, what is this all about? This complexity theory and this theory of computation and this automata theory. You know, like, what does this mean? What does to compute something mean? And so forth. And when you see Stephen Wolfram running around saying computation, 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 what the hell is he talking about in these things? Um, and then if you learn the JavaScript pedagogy, um, and you know, alternative would be Python. I think both of them have enormous merits. You know, MIT, for example, uses Python. They used to use Lisp. And so it gives you a sense of how high esteemed Python has become.、Um, but I think JavaScript has evolved as a language to a point where it really can become a lingua franca and serve you quite well throughout your entire academic career and your professional career. And you can do everything in it, from AI to data science、uh, and beyond. And also, it's a language that you can easily use to interface and talk to anything on the web. And if you learn how automation works, there you go. Now, in terms of the、um, Operating system I'll use for this. I'll use、uh, I'll use Windows、uh, for it, and I'll use Windows the way it should be used. So I'll probably use PowerShell and Chocolaty. Ha ha! Got you guys, you Linux people,、uh, and we'll have some fun with it. Anyway, long time, lot to do.